Hey everybody, welcome to my channel and welcome back to another Hamilton episode. Today is a very exciting episode because we have two new characters joining the Hamilton Let's Play. And if I did a good job in creating them, then you might have already guessed who these two sims are. So this is definitely one of the most highly requested things in the entire Hamilton Let's Play, which is for Jefferson and Madison to join the Let's Play. But let's actually quickly go into create a sim so I can show you up close what these new sims look like. So first of all, we have Thomas Jefferson. Lately, I've been kind of giving the Hamilton sims somewhat of a more modern look, but I really couldn't resist giving Jefferson this really extra extravagant outfits. Obviously, this mimics his like purple jackets pink purple-ish jacket that he wears in the show. So this is his daily wear and then he has his formal wear which is surprisingly less formal than his daily wear but I just wanted to go for something else. We have athletic, sleepwear, uh, then his party wear which is like the most extra thing I think I've ever given a sim. I love the purple suits. It fits him so well. Then we have swimwear, hot weather and cold weather, which I love this jacket, like this coat kind of thing looks so good. So that is Jefferson. I gave him the leader of the pack aspiration, ambitious trait, snob trait and self-assured trait. But these are definitely not set in stone. So if you think he needs to have different traits, let me know in the comments and I can change them for next episodes. Same goes for Madison. I gave him the Mansion Baron aspiration. He's a bookworm, he's a snob, and he is a loner. Because I thought he was more of like a quiet character kind of in the musical. He doesn't really say much. He doesn't really take action until like Jefferson comes back. At least in the musical, that's kind of what it is. He's kind of waiting for him to come home and be like, hey, fix this problem, please. <laughs> so this is a Madison. This is his daily wear, uh, his formal wear. Athletic wear, oh, sleepwear, sorry, I skipped one. Uh, and this is his party wear and swimwear, hot weather and cold weather. He's a little bit less formal than Jefferson, but still like he, he, he dresses up, you know? But again, definitely let me know if you think they need to have different traits because I will change it. <laughs> so I moved these two into one of the biggest houses. Oh, I probably should add a door. <laughs> Where did the door go? I definitely placed this without turning BB dot move object on. <laughs> Sorry. So I downloaded the house of the gallery. This is the person that made it if you want it in your own game. So it's definitely one of the biggest houses in the neighborhood. They live across the street from the Skylar sisters. And the story that I am going with is that Madison has lived in this neighborhood for a very long time. And he used to be friends with Jefferson, but Jefferson moved away to France for... Is that how you pronounce that in English? In, in, in American? France. In American English. Are you kidding me? Did they set it? Are you? Really? I look up the pronunciation of a word for one second and you're already setting things on fire? Are you kidding me? <laughs> well, it wouldn't be the Hamilton Let's Play if there wasn't a fire. I leave these sims alone for literally two seconds while I look up the pronunciation of a word and they managed to set something on fire. <laughs> anyway, let me tell you the story that I've come up with. So in my mind, Madison has been living here for a very long time and he used to be friends with Jefferson who was in the neighborhood as well, but then he moved away to France. So he has been away for a very long time and since Jefferson has moved away, some new characters have moved into town, namely all of the other Hamilton sims. <laughs> so I'm talking like Hamilton, Lawrence, the Schuyler sisters, Burr, Washington, and all of those. And Madison, I mean, like Jefferson and Madison, they'd like to be in kind of like the powerful people 
in neighborhoods. They liked being the richest people, having the biggest house, having the most influence on, on how things were going. They kind of liked their position of luxury, of, of, of power. So Madison was kind of concerned when some new clubs were forming around town and, you know, some new alliances were being made. So he called up Jefferson and he's like, by any chance, are you moving back? Because I think we need to do something about this. Like, we're losing power in our own neighborhoods. So I don't think they're necessarily like evil sims, but I, they do like being in that position of power. Oh my god, is that fireplace fenced off? Because yes, that's exactly what they need. <laughs> my Hamilton sims do need the safety measures of not being able to reach any place where fire is near. Thank you, whoever created this house. So these two aren't in a romantic relationship, but I know what you guys have voted on in the past, so Something might be brewing, something might be starting now that Jefferson has moved back. But for today, I think these two are going to throw a little housewarming party or welcome home party. And they're going to invite all of the Hamilton Sims just to like get to know them, see what they're like. Madison is kind of shy, I think. Like he's not really one to engage on his own. But Jefferson, like he, he can, he's kind of like a people person. He likes to mingle and get to know his... Um, enemies <laughs> competition so i think that is what will be happening today they're just gonna throw a party show off their massive mansion that they have kind of intimidate the neighborhoods so let's see if we can do that i don't know if they'll be able to invite any of the hamilton sims since they technically don't know them but i hope they'll be able to let's see uh probably a house party or a dinner party perhaps is that more that's maybe more prestigious or fancy. I think it's gonna be a dinner party. And then they're just gonna like hire a caterer, obviously. Uh, so the host is gonna be Jefferson, cause he's back. Maybe Madison as well. I think it's gonna be both of them. And then guess they don't know anybody, <laughs> do they? Okay, so never mind. Uh, scrap that plan. They're gonna go around the neighborhood and meet all of the Hamilton Sims, and then we're gonna throw a party. <laughs> Let's travel. Let's start with one of their neighbors, which is Mr. Skyler. So this is the Skyler sister father. I don't even know his first name anymore because he hasn't really been in the Hamilton Let's Play world for a little while. But I mean, he's like one of the most like rich people in the neighborhood. So definitely they're going to be introducing themselves. Let's knock on the door. Is he home? Yes. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's kind of sad. He's all alone in his massive mansion. Philip. His name is Philip. Is it? Huh. Right, because then Philip was named after his grandfather. Right. I'm hope I'm, I'm I hope I'm assuming that correctly. <laughs> Let's meet him. So we have him in our acquaintances thing. Where are you, Jefferson? Go introduce yourself. There we go. Okay, and then I don't know how many people we're gonna be able to invite in for the party, but I'm just gonna try to have them know as many people as possible okay we're here at the skylar sister's house let's knock on the door see if they're home peggy isn't or she's just upstairs probably yes okay they're both home that's good so let's introduce ourselves to angelica first and then go say hi to peggy I think Jefferson is gonna take the lead on this. Madison is just along for the ride, kind of. But, like, Jefferson is really trying to, like, weasel his way into the community here. Get those influence points, because we can actually vote on neighborhood plans now. I wonder, like, what kind of neighborhood plans are they all voting on? Because, like, in history, they kind of had, like, opposing stands on politics. So I feel like, like, for the neighborhood plans, it's kind of, like, the equivalent of that. They're gonna be voting on very different visions for the neighborhoods. I don't know if uh, Ma oh, Madison is uh, taking a dive into their pool. <laughs> Go right ahead, Madison. That's not weird at all. <laughs> anyway um i don't remember if jefferson was friendly with any of the 
Hamilton Sims. Because I know like he and Hamilton definitely did not get along. They were like opposite sides of the spectrum. But I don't remember if he like had a good relationship with anybody. Did he write Angelica? Like did they have like a co correspondence? I don't know if it was a friendly one, but I feel like I remember that they wrote each other at least. I don't know. I don't know if he's going to be like friendly with anybody. Let me know in the comments if you know more. I need a refresher on my history. Okay, there we go. Did he meet both of them? Yes. Okay, let's move on to the next house, shall we? So we're going to be moving on to this street over here. Let's start with Mallette, Mulligan and Lafayette and their two children, their baby and their toddler. Although I don't think their toddler is going to be invited along, but at least let's meet Mulligan and Lafayette. So... <laughs> This is kind of interesting because this is like technically the same actor. <laughs> I mean, I took a little bit of liberty in Creative Sim so that it wouldn't look exactly the same, but you can see the resemblance, right? He is so tense. I mean, that fire every time. Uh, oh, and then we have Mulligan over here who I've not fixed his hot weather outfit yet, but I kind of like it in a weird way. <laughs> I need to get around to giving all of the male Hamilton Sims a makeover. I've done, I think, all of the female characters now. There we go. Did we meet everybody? No. He still needs to meet Mulligan. Mulligan, friendly introduction, please. Come introduce yourself. Oh, he's just playing chess. Okay. <laughs> That seems like a friendly thing to do. Uh, let's drag this up a little bit, shall we? So we can check. Yes, okay, he knows everybody now. Let's move on. <laughs> we don't have time, people. <laughs> we have a party to plan. Uh, and then we shall move on to the Lamps residence, which is also where Eliza is currently, as their surrogates. Mom. Okay, let's see. Let's knock on the door. Their beautiful home. Let's go for Lawrence first and then Eliza with the massive baby bump. Oh my god. I can't believe... I wonder what trimester she is in. We might have to check in a little bit. Oh, and then Hamilton is swimming. Oh my god, I forgot that I gave them like full outfits for swimming. <laughs> That's so ridiculous. Okay, let's introduce ourselves to everybody. Look at that bump though. They're gonna have a baby soon. That's exciting. He looks so angry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, he probably wouldn't be this angry if, you know, he wasn't tense from starting a fire. <laughs> Hamilton, introduce yourself. Can we? He's swimming. Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, just join him. <laughs> I guess that makes sense. <laughs> This last play is kind of ridiculous, isn't it? <laughs> Alexander Hamilton in a full suit, swimming in a swimming pool, uh, and Thomas Jefferson. <laughs> okay, uh, I think he met everybody now, right? Yes, okay, let's move on. I hope he can invite them, though. I mean, like, he, would, he wouldn't have a problem with Burr. The others might. I mean, he's, he's, he might in the future, but he will invite Burr now, because he doesn't even, like, really know the guy. If that makes sense. Like he doesn't have a problem with Burr yet. So this is one of the rare occasions where Burr is actually going to get invited. <laughs> with this house that makes no sense. Oh my god, I forgot that I I didn't really fix that, fix this house yet. Okay, um, this is not even like the right style. I don't know what I did here. Okay, well, let's introduce ourselves. Mariah should be around here somewhere as well. There she is. Okay. <laughs> I, like how, I like how Madison is just kind of along for the ride. <laughs> He's just, you know, he's just here. <laughs> he's not really doing anything. Oh, there she is. Hi, Mariah. It's been a while since you've seen Burr, isn't it? Like, usually I can't really include him that well. Oh, he needs to go to the toilet. Can he go to the toilet at someone else's house? I feel like that's fine, right? He's just using the toilet. That should be okay. Like, he's not cooking or sleeping or anything. Okay. Uh, Washington, I think, is the last one. I hope we will be able to invite everybody. I I doubt it though. And I hope I didn't forget anybody. Did I? I might have. So Washington is, Washington is like, you know, the the big hurdle here. He's like, you know, definitely biggest house. Definitely the most influence, even though I don't know if that's true in this particular Let's Play because he's kind of on the sidelines most of the time. I feel like people respect him though. I feel like they do. 
okay let's knock on the door i wonder if we can even find him oh my god all of his cats i forgot about the cats oh nobody's home where's washington i mean at least his butler should be home right um okay well uh, is it just because he's not there technically uh, no, I feel like that shouldn't be how this works. Mm. Well, I'll figure it out. Uh, I don't know. Maybe he'll meet Washington at a later date. I tried my best. <laughs> let's see. Uh, let's go back to Newcrest. And back to their home. And we can start this party. <laughs> that was kind of fun. Like, going around all the houses, kind of seeing everybody how they live all right is it time for us to start a party i think it is i mean that's not even a big enough table i'm gonna buy a bigger table <laughs> nobody will be able to sit i mean they have two tables but let's have a huge table shall we okay there we go um yeah i think that's it i think it's time for a party it's 8 p.m sounds i mean it's 9 p.m technically and uh, it's a little late for a dinner party but it's fine i feel like that's still sort of acceptable kind of sort of <laughs> okay let's see who can we invite this time hopefully being acquaintances is enough to invite them uh let's do that dinner party that we talked about let's do two hosts yes that is enough i can invite everybody please let me be able to invite. yes oh there's okay we can have like 15 sims okay that's fine then then we're only miss missing washington i hope i really really hope i'm not forgetting anybody <laughs> Am I? I don't think I am. Usually I forget like Peggy or Burr and they're here so it's fine. I think it's okay. Let's invite a caterer. Just just hire somebody. Uh, and then it's gonna be at the Jefferson's residence. There we go. Jefferson is wearing his fabulous purple suits. And the people are showing up. I love that dress on Peggy. That is so nice on her. Oh my god. I know we saw that baby bump like a second ago, but look at it. Wow. Okay, that's gonna be like next episodes. Like, There's no way that baby's gonna not be here really soon. I also gave Mariah some new outfits. I really like this dress. I think it's from the university pack, if I'm correct. But that just suits her really well. And then I don't know what Angelica is doing. I think she's going through the back door. Uh, but she has a new party dress as well. It's all a little bit more modern. I think like Jefferson's daily wear outfit is kind of the only exception. Oh my god, that's going to be awkward for the Skyler sisters to see their dad. Like they haven't spoken in so long. How are they doing? Oh, that's cute. Oh, oh, Peggy's not having it. She's like, get me out of here. Does Peggy not like Mariah? I thought it was going to be like a cute moment of Peggy meeting, well, not meeting, but like interacting with her sister's girlfriend. But I don't know. She didn't seem very interested. Oh my God, Jefferson, you cannot sleep. Absolutely not. Go change. <laughs> this whole exercise was for you to like, like impress them. <laughs> Okay, let's talk to some people, shall we? Let's talk. <laughs> Argue about career? Uh, yes. Ask babies due date? Uh, no. Ooh, let's just thank people for coming. He's still tense. How long is he gonna be tense? Seven hours. Oh my god. Okay, that's not a great start, is it? Oh, oh. <laughs> I mean, I did that, to be honest. I did do that. <laughs> but I feel like that's just, that's how it's gonna go. I don't know if I'm uh, not correct in this, let me know. But I feel like many of these sims will not get along. <laughs> they will have very different few points on life. That's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to do uh, headline effects off. Goes to show how much I use the move objects cheats. <laughs> like a Madison in the background. It's just like silently supporting jefferson i don't know how it was in real life to be fair but in the musical you know it's kind of like that like jefferson on the front line and then madison kind of in the background silently supporting him most of the time oh my god he is not having it okay well that was off to a great start i mean they're not not friends yet uh let's thank eliza for coming and i mean now 
Hamilton's probably not going to be very happy either. The Skyler sisters, I mean, just kind of just Angelica having a conversation with her dad and Eliza's girlfriend. Uh, what the? Did you just see that? That was definitely Philip Skyler flirting with Mariah. That's that's not okay. That's inappropriate on so many levels. I love that Angelica is having a conversation with her father. I know they have like many, many differences. Is she telling him that she just got engaged? He seems okay with it so far. Okay, let's go around. We definitely want to thank Philip Skyler for coming because he has a lot of influence. I am, I'd imagine, just from the money that he has. Let's just go around and make sure that we thank everybody. I don't know. What do you guys guys think? Like, should they be enemies? Like, should they even be enemies? Or is this like a universe where the Hamilton Sims are friends? We could do that as well. I mean, I kind of assumed that there was going to be like a rivalry at least. And the way I see it, it's going to be like mostly them just kind of like fighting for influence in the community. They kind of want to have like the most powerful club of people around them. But I mean, we can just have like one happy party if you guys prefer that. Like definitely let me know in the comments. Aww, is that Burr over there having... Oh no, it's... Yes, it is. Oh my god. I feel sorry for the guy. Uh, he's playing some horseshoe throwing what's this game called i don't actually know uh on his own outside Ooh, it looks kind of awkward between these two i feel like angelica is mostly just talking to mariah and kind of being like oh that's my dad <laughs> and i just got engaged to the guy he specifically forbid me to date that's awkward honestly i feel like she's just just trying her best maybe they can make up at some point I mean, these two are supposed to be close as well. Like, Peggy and Lawrence, definitely, like, best friends. But, like, Peggy is close to Hamilton as well. I love this new look for Peggy. I think she looks amazing. I love her, like, new modern university student-inspired look. She's totally ready to go off to university. We'll do that next episode. I'll just check on her application status. I haven't seen any of your comments yet on where she should go. So uh, if you want to let me know on this video, you can as well. Uh, and also what you should major in. <laughs> it's a massive party over Oh my god. I've oh, oh, this is not going well. Oh, he just looks sad now. <laughs> oh, he's like, what did I get myself into? <laughs> This is, uh, I think this is Jefferson like realizing uh, that perhaps he has made a mistake and he's not gonna be. Oh, what if it's like, um, he just like desperately wants to be a part of the club, but he just, he got here a little bit too late and now all these people are friends and he's just like, I want to be friends too. What if that is kind of like the story? I don't know. That could be it because he looks very sad. Poor guy, really. Oh, it's the end of the party. Okay, well, bye, everybody. <laughs> I felt, I feel like that was somewhat successful. They got to know each other a little bit. Uh, Medicine just kind of went to bed at some point. He wasn't really present for most of it. But Jefferson kind of talked to everybody. Like, he has some sort of relationship with... He, he at least met them. And it was fun to see them all together again. Uh, all right, I think that's it. I think we did it. Should we, shall we check really quickly Eliza's due date? Just to check. See what trimester she's in. There we go. Uh, this is going to be the final thing. Oh, don't cook things. <laughs> That's just new. Uh, she is in the third trimester. You can kind of tell from how big that belly has grown. Yep. Okay, so next episode, we're going to have Lamb's baby. Oh my god, that is exciting. And also, Peggy goes off to university. So yeah, don't forget to let me know what you think the Jefferson Madison story should be. Is Are they going to be friends with anybody? Were they friends? Like in real life, history-wise, with any of the Hamilton characters? Let me know about their traits. Do you think I should change any of them? What traits do you think could match Jefferson and Madison. But that is going to be it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, don't forget to give it a like and subscribe so you don't miss out on future episodes. Click over here for more videos like this. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you again very soon. Bye everybody.